Hi guys, as promised here's a Project Denver update for you. I did manage to find a grommet, that's the approximate size I need. So let me show you how we're going to make this fit into this. Let's start here at the bottom. There's the central point where this locating pin fits inside and this holds the wheel at the correct angle inside the housing. Now I had to clean this up a bit, give it a light sanding, a light uh, rub down with the file and that's just to allow this part to slide in and out unimpeded. So that'll make this whole process a lot easier. So, I'm going to use a drill press. I'm going to take a slightly bigger drill bit than what, what we see here and just grind these, uh, these peened um, rivets open. Once these are gone, I can separate this. I can take the old rubber out and throw it away. Then I'll use this plate inside here. I'll drill the central hole and the four mounting points and I can put this whole thing back together. Now you'll see here the inner ridge is the right diameter but the outer ridge is not. So once this is all one piece I'll take a block of wood, wrap some rough sandpaper, probably this P100, this will probably be fine for this job. So I'll wrap that around a block of wood, I'll slap a, a rivet through the central hole here Stick it on a drill and just grind the edge. I might go over it with a blade first just to take the majority of this off. But it would be a lot quicker on a drill. And uh, yeah, we'll grind that down. And then we should have a complete piece. This was never meant to be a user, uh, user service item. This was meant to be, I guess, 50 something years ago you could go into any Land Rover shop and buy a new one. Uh, but these are no longer made anymore. And uh, like I say, if I phone looking for these people, just, <laughs> people just laugh about it. They're like, yeah, good luck, mate. So, let's see what we can do. I have found complete um, self-canceling Magna, Magna light switches overseas. Um, I guess if this doesn't work, I'll have to buy either a cheap one just to keep me going while I wait for the import one to arrive. But um, I, I would like to fix this original item and um, make the tutorial for you guys. So I'm going to give that my best shot. And yeah, I'm hoping to have an update for you again on this particular project on Saturday. And, um, or at least Sunday. Because I'll probably be filming this on Saturday. And if you're lucky, I'll get it uploaded on Saturday night. Otherwise, it'll be sometime Sunday afternoon. But yeah, I'm a I am going to clean this rust. I know it's a bit rusty. So I'll clean this off. I'll give everything a coat of paint. I'll probably use hammerite. I'll use hammerite silver for this. Um, <clears throat> just try to get the original colors again. So it'll be the silver with the black. Um, and then yeah, we'll put this whole thing back together and, and uh, hopefully I can get my Land Rover back in the road. Because right now she's uh, sitting in the carport and I can't drive it without indicators. So let's see what happens on Saturday guys. And I'll get back to you then. Cheers for now. Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more and be kept up to date, please follow me on Twitter, Instagram and subscribe to my channel. With your help we can get this project complete and move on to the next one. Bye for now.